Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Great. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. And also, my background is I'm a chiropractic doctor. Whenever I go to relicensing seminars, not only do I get education, but I also get some healing. So whenever I go and learn about a new technique, we work on it right then and there, and we leave more educated and a little healthier, and I'm gonna share that with you right now. Medicine has been based on the paradigm of Newtonian physics. So like if you can see it, and you can measure it, then it's here. And that's different from quantum physics, which is all the uh, energy that we're learning about. You know, how does energy actually affect us? So look, the notion that you know, genes really control our biology is a supposition that has been, has been disproven by, by lots of scientific research. So let's take you back to, or go back to, to medical school for a moment here. Let's go back to the basics of how were we created. We have a brain, central processing unit, spinal cord, like cables and peripherals to organs and systems. We have a lot of sensors in the body. These are you know, heat and cold, pain sensors, light touch, pressure sensors, vision, hearing, all these sensors that uh, let us interact with our environment. And then satiety, like how do we know that we're full or we're hungry? We have sensors in our gut all over the body. Here's, here's our nervous system. This is from the uh, exhibit, uh, the bodies exhibit. This is, here's our wiring diagram. Why don't we start following it? Here's an overlay of the autonomic nervous system. This is what they teach me in chiropractic college. I know they teach it to you in medical school, but they really drill it into us because we're neuromuscular skeletal specialists in the chiropractic world. So we see that we have nerves that come from the brain down the spinal cord and they exit at specific levels and they go through every muscle and every organ in the body. Back in the 1920s, Dr. Henry Windsor, a medical doctor, was conducting some experiments. He was noting that chiropractic was, was gaining popularity. And he wanted to know, well, why? So he conducted a series of autopsies on cadavers under the auspices of the University of Pennsylvania in 1921. He discovered that those cadavers that had diseases, he found flawed connections in the vertebral column in association with the spinal level. There's an aberration. If we have a problem in that spinal level, then we can have a disease in that organ system. So his findings seem to confirm if we treat the spine and take blocks out of the spinal column, the nerve system runs more efficiently. And you can have relief, what we call subluxations back then, and then disease processes are minimized. Who here has or knows someone who has a thyroid condition? Okay, 99% of the time, there is a block in the energy going from C6, C7. You go back and ask your patients, did you have a whiplash accident a, a couple years before onset, you'll be surprised of the high correlation of whiplash accidents. So you have decreased nerve stimulation to the thyroid gland, and a few years later, thyroid conditions. Unblock the nerve, the, the nerve flow through that organ, you'll see dramatic results. So the one-time force to a man's spine can cause severe nerve interference. Wouldn't it stand to reason that smaller repetitive forces to a person's spine would also cause nerve interference? Not as dramatic, but they accumulate. And they're going to accumulate, and then you just don't feel as energized as before. No, I just don't want to work out five times a week. How about three times a week? And then and aging is nerve interference. So our bodies aren't working as they once did. So do you really have a pain problem, or do we have a communication problem in our body? So trauma causes nerve system interruption. The nerve interruption causes body and mind miscommunication. And this miscommunication leads to disease and disease processes. Just like a fuse breaker in your house. We have, a, we have power that comes into the house and it gets routed from your fuse panel to all the different parts of your house. And so on the other side we have the spine. It's like a fuse breaker system. We have the brain, central processing unit, and, and you know those of us who are to the higher energy source, you know, chakras, energy coming down from above from our chakras, which are in alignment with our spine. 
that comes out through these different levels, goes to every organ and every muscle. And if the circuit breakers aren't completely on, they're not all completely off either. Like we're not as black and white as this fuse panel, but we have a lot of shades of gray. So by resetting the fuse breaker, we'll turn the power back on. So chiropractic is the only science that can exactly locate the cause of this disease and then adjust it and clear it. All precision equipment does require periodic adjustments. Who knows what muscle testing is? So muscle testing, also known as applied kinesiology. I find that applied kinesiology is able to identify impaired energy flow in the body. It leads to unlocking the combination to your health. 